Hi, Mr. Margulis. We have your 450 SL here at the shop, and I just wanted to show you that we have uh, a couple coolant leaks coming from the uh, water pump bypass hose. The bypass hose is right there uh, where the red LED is, and there's a coolant leak coming from that area. When we look at the bypass hose from the side, you can kind of see that it has a bubble coming, or it's kind of bubbled over here right where the red LED is. There's, it's kind of um, lopsided and we should change this hose here and there's another bypass hose on the very bottom which is where the LED is shining on right now you can't really see it because it's dark under here but it is wet uh, right where the LED go where the LED is underneath and we need to change both of these two bypasses hoses that go to the water pump the next thing we're going to show you is the coolant leak right over here at the heater servo and the auxiliary pump for the heater the auxiliary pump for the heater has signs of leakage coming from the side of it down down to the hose. This auxiliary pump is leaking and this aluminum servo is also leaking at the base right here. Um, right here there's some wetness and this is when we put pressure in the cooling system you can see that it's leaking right there at the heater servo. The one final thing we want to show you is that the heater hose behind the in engine over here is behind the engine. It's actually starting to um, swell up or get swollen and right here where the LED is this this is the heater hose that looks as if though it's 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 swelling up and the hose clamp looks really rusty and I recommend changing this heater hose before it goes bad uh, the next thing we're going to show you is both the battery uh, the battery is uh, about five years old we're going to show you that next in the video and the lower control the next thing we forgot to mention was that the uh, radiator here is leaking from this area. You can see that someone had put some glue here before to stop the radiator leaking here from the overflow tank hose. And this overflow tank hose connection to the radiator has been patched up with some sort of glue, but it is leaking coolant from here. So you have another coolant leak coming here from the radiator. This needs to be welded if you want it to stop leaking coolant from here. This uh, patch job that someone did is, is still allowing coolant to escape from here. So you need to get this fixed. Okay, the next thing we're going to show you is the lower control arm bushings on the left side. They're really, really worn out. I don't know if you can see them, but the bushings right there where the LED is shining on, uh, that, the bushings are worn out, and you need to change these lower control arm bushings. Um, it's going to affect the alignment of the car. So this is the, the front part of the control arm. You can see the bushings here are worn out, and then the rear part of the front control arm. It's about the same way. You can see the bushings here are worn out. And this is the left side, the driver's side. I'm going to show you the right side and you're going to see what the, the bushings look like when they're not worn out. And you can see the bushings on this side are in decent shape. Although they're dry, they're not as bad as the left side. And you could probably wait to do these because the bushings you can see on this side are okay compared to the, to the left side. So you really need left side lower control arm bushings for the front suspension if you want the alignment to remain true. Otherwise, uh, you'll have uh, excessive tire wear rapidly, especially on the left front wheel. So um, I'll give you an estimate for that, um, and I'll send it to you through email. Thank you. Okay, we're in the back of the car now, and we have the battery cover off, and we want to show you that the battery itself is about six years old. I'm sorry, five years old, and the date on the battery is right there. It says December of 06, and uh, the battery's um, about four years old right now, and we should definitely consider changing it. Uh, maybe within the next year or so before it goes dead on you. Batteries generally last three to five years and um, if you don't replace it and do preventative maintenance on batteries what happens is you put a strain on your original alternator and instead of it costing just a battery it's going to cost you a, a new alternator so that's why we, we're into preventative maintenance on batteries it's just so that you don't put a strain on the alternator.